There, there's a gorilla down there, Everett. <laughs> is it? There is. I can hear him. I'm just setting the timer for the episode. Oh, luckily I can shoot him from like a hundred feet away with my handguns. <laughs> is he dead? He's dead. Yeah, so if you're watching and if you're interested in this, make sure you let us know what your favored runtime is. Because the way we record these now, we have a little more control over how many or how few we can make. There's no... Jesus! Who? Where? This is bothering me. This wire. There. Where? Where? Right there. Where what? What are you looking at? There, I heard another gorilla. And he was loud. And I don't know where he is. What's up there? That's weird. Oh. oh here's... What the... But, where? I'm scared. It might be above. Above? Yeah. Henry, get away from the mic. Hey, get down. Oh my <laughs> god, that's... Ruff, ruff, ruff. That's terrifying. Okay, well I'm going in the water. Would it be funny if it was an underwater gorilla? <laughs> There's um, probably gators. There are probably gators here. Oh, there he is. I wonder how loud that thump was. Hey, bro. Probably pretty loud. That As well, him cat. stepping on the ah, stepping on audio cables. Yep. <laughs> and stepping on the chair. Oh hey, look at that. Something else just fell over. <laughs> what? On our porch. It's probably the neighbors moving. Uh, oh Jesus! It's probably pretty hard for the gator to actually get me because he's so wiggly. <laughs> Like, you have to get in his mouth, and he's wiggling all around. What is the... Oh. Oh. Hey, look at that. Hey. Yes, please. Good going. Look at you. You're making all this progress? Yeah. Have well, you I... surpassed your child self yet? No, not yet. Oh, okay. I think the next area is where I stopped. Maybe? Maybe not. This is not... Oh. Oh, I've been here. No, I've been here. There's lions here. Oh, this is actually a really cool area once I make some progress in it. Um, there's like How far are lions we? and stuff. How far are we? What percentage are we through the game? Like half. Oh, really? Maybe. It's not that long of a game? No, it's not. It's. I mean, all the levels take maybe like an hour. It takes us more than an hour. <laughs> This one took us at an hour and 15 minutes. That's what it <laughs> said. This is one of my favorite areas is around here. You, 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 you. Oh, watch that gator. Ah! Ah! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Oh, he's squirming. He's gone. He's done. <laughs> and he's hovering. Look at that cute little gator mouth. Okay. The graphics. The graphics. I actually like them. Yeah. I like this style. I, it won't be too long before people are intentionally making video games look like this. Give it a give it a year. It'll happen soon if it hasn't already. I do like... I really like all of the different textures and stuff. Like, there's a lot of different... I feel like they put a lot of detail into it. I think they did a great job for what they had available to them. I'm actually kind of scared because this is a big open... Oh, this is a jumping puzzle. This is a big <laughs> open area. And uh, oh. I know there's lions in here and all kinds of scary it's stuff. A gorilla. They're not... Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Har Harambe, just fucking chill out, will ya? <laughs> Jeez. You got harambe out of nowhere. I was just about to say, they're not too bad to deal with when you have some notice. <laughs> okay. 
I think three gorillas is enough. If there's another gorilla, then that is far too many. Door. I'm keep my guns out just to, just to be <laughs> sure. I'm scared. Yeah, until you until the coast is clear. And then there's that guy lurking around. Pierre. Right. And he disappears before you can actually kill him. Yeah. Hopefully I don't run into him. Ah. Nope. No. <laughs> no. Imagine she said that every single time. That I would love that. Something didn't work. <laughs> Keeps trying to hit circle to jump. It's not working. Nope. No. No. So the story thus far, <clears throat> let's do another story Another recap. recap. Our memories just keep getting worse and worse as we do this. Yeah. Well, it's because the video before this we recorded maybe last week, and then the video before that was like one to two years ago. So. <laughs> okay, true. Uh, so she's got the scion that right. she got from some other temple. Or she says it, the skion. The skion. Um, and then I called the car a ski on once and someone made fun of me. The car? Yeah, the car. Oh, right. The Scion. The Scion, yeah. So she got that, which is some kind of crazy relic. And what does it do? Like, cures disease or? No, it's just some sort of artifact that gives you power. Makes you powerful or. Oh, okay. Yeah. Something about power and destruction. I don't know. All right. And then. It was get oh it was given to the this is why we're going to these different Wait, places I think she it was has given it to right now three, the whole thing no she has a piece of it oh I might even have two does it tell you yeah it looks like that looks no. complete no it's not there's other pieces of it okay yeah so it was given to like three rulers or something one was like the ruler of atlantis the other one was someone else and then there was someone else right and are we in the someone else part I, I believe so we got the first piece which was in the lost tomb of qualapec qualapec yeah and uh then the other one i know is supposed to be in atlantis i think maybe how do i get down here without killing myself uh, jump this was a from mistake. the wall. You saved recently, uh, right? Yeah, I did. There Ooh. you go. Look at that. And um, so, Natla, Natla of Natla Technologies is trying to get it. Right. So she hired us. And we're gonna go after. She hired Laura, and then she hired uh, uh that guy. The guy with the text in action. Yeah, she's like just contracting it. Well, because we got Pierre. the one piece, and the other guy is trying to get the other piece. And Pierre too. And Pierre, yeah. Yeah. I think the other guy's out of the out of the game now. Yeah, we shot him. We shot him. Good. Well, no, he didn't actually die. He no. Just, they had a little bit of a scuffle. Yeah, we bloodied him though. He was pretty bloody. Yeah. And then you fight. You'll have to fight Pierre. Yeah. It's funny that in this this game you can like hire uh, Indiana Jones style people. They're just <laughs> they're just all around. You can just yeah. all hire them. Dime a dozen, just hanging out in hotels and where. Fuck! What is wrong with me? <laughs> I haven't played this in. Pres I, I'm so used to games where you have to time the jump perfectly, but in this game you just hold down the jump button as you run until it is the perfect time and she just does it for you. Yeah, they've designed all the distances intentionally. You just have to figure out what, like, where to jump from. Yeah. You just have to kind of gauge it. Oh, I gotta press the button. This is kind of nerve-wracking. <laughs> You'll get it. I'm not nervous for uh, her. I'm nervous that this is going to get a little incessant if I keep falling off. Well, that's... Yeah, you know what? Too bad. Blah. Right? I guess we could always just edit through it if we want, but if you like Let's Plays, if you like our Let's Plays, this is what you get. <laughs> you get... Uh, you get uh, white knuckle jumping puzzles. Yep. 
I mean, if we're going to continue to be lazy and not do any kind of special edits or anything. Oh. This is the thing. There's like a code that you have to remember, and then you have to pull those things in the right order. So I most likely didn't even need to come up here right now. Well, we got some music. We do. The classic Tomb Raider music. Tomb Raider theme. I swear to God, if there's a gorilla in here, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> With this soundtrack? Oh. I don't think there'd Maybe. be gorillas around. Before. You never know. This soundtrack. They just sprinkle those gorillas wherever they want to. A liberal sprinkling of gorilla. Okay, that's like a shortcut that you just open. Cool. I am fine with that. So, I don't need to be here right now. So let's. You go need check to figure out, out what, which uh, things to pull. Yes. I don't even remember where you find the code for that or how. I think when I originally did it, I just guessed. Maybe you do just have to guess. Guess slash cheated. I had a walkthrough. <clears throat> Maybe you do have to guess it. No, you don't guess. There's no guessing, Everett. This is very carefully planned out. Are you sure? Yes. Because some, uh, like, a cheap puzzle would just be to have four switches, and you just have to, like, process of elimination. No, there's, uh, because there's certain ones that have to be up, and then the others have to be down. Oh. So it's like, they have to be done in a certain order to open a door. I was probably supposed to go the other way. But I don't want it because there's lines. <laughs> oh, you come down this way. There's monkeys hidden around the corners. I suspect. Oh, yeah. Somewhere. Hidden monkey. Hidden lions. Oh, lions. Should have called that. Oh, I'm safe. Ha ha. Well, Can't get me. What will it ever do? Can't get me. Just gonna wow. kill this like lovely family of <laughs> family. Of what mine. are the so like? What's the ecology of this temple? Like gorilla like versus the food, lion. Food chain. I think it's just a free for all. A gorilla versus lion versus bats versus gator. Do you think the lions and the gorillas are fighting for dominance? Probably. There's some sort of war. And the gators have dominion over the uh, water the water lands yep the bats are food for the lions and the gorillas yep sometimes they have uneasy truces sometimes there's war um i would say probably adventurers are also food for the yeah. lions and gorillas true are gorillas um do they eat people i mean like do they eat um <laughs> do they eat meat uh, like, I know that I think they a do. lot of monkeys do, but do gorillas specifically? I don't know. Let's look that up. It's a terrifying thought. Do gorillas eat meat? I, they showed us this special in science class in high school where they, it was brutal. It's the most brutal thing, nature show that I've ever watched. <laughs> and, uh. Oh, that door is open. Oop. Yeah, it was like, it, it, would, it showed this group of monkeys hunting these smaller monkeys and just like ripping their, like ripping them apart alive and like it was showing everything, like pulling their arms out of their sockets and like pulling their eyes out and like Ugh. eating their eyes and stuff. It was crazy. In high school? In high school, yeah. Jeez. The whole class was like, what <laughs> the fuck? The nature of things. Yeah. David Suzuki. Oh, shit. No! Why do you run so fast? Do gorilla... Like, wow, oh my that's God. crazy. I put do, G-O-R, and the first thing that comes up was do gorillas eat meat. Wow. That's because Google's listening. Gorillas do not eat meat, and their diet consists mostly of fruits and plants. They also consume insects, such as caterpillars and termites. Fully grown male gorillas can eat more than 40 pounds of food a day. 40 pounds of food a day. There you go. High metabolisms. So they don't eat meat. No. 
They don't. Oh shit! Oh my god! That scared me. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I'm so scared. Right. <laughs> it doesn't take much to scare you. No, they're so scary. I don't like them. Oh, I just went. Ah, I went to a dark uh, corner. Dark gorilla corner. Oh, I'm so scared. How? Right. It's scary. Right. Where is he? There he is. Like, oh my god, they're all around! There's so many of them! <laughs> You'll be fine. Stop! Just, just kill them all. Oh, oh no! Just keep flipping. Don't jump up straight and down. Oops. Uh, yeah. ah! <laughs> get up on that thing. Surely they can't get up on there. Ah. So scary. Why the Look how many there are! Wow, this is a gorilla ambush. This is where they all live. Yeah, we've gone from, like, lions... Because there were so many lions in the other area. This is the gorilla domain. Yeah. This is where they plan their attacks on the lions. Yeah. And they're all cleared out now. Holy You put an end Christ. to this age-old... It's another Omega Monkey Temple, see? That's why. Ah. Ugh. I see a treasure. Friggin' heart attack. Oh, it opened on its own. Yeah, that's always Ominous. good. Ominous. <sighs> I need to take a breath. So My update from last heart. time, uh, I didn't get fired. But I did quit. <laughs> <laughs> good laugh. Good job. Thanks. Oh. Uh, yay. Yay. Come on. Come on now. They didn't have enough to, uh, they didn't want to fire me, but they did a whole lot of, like, uh, gesticulating. Look, more monkeys. Come on. Of course. Where they said in, like, not so many words, like, if you miss another day, you're fired, without actually saying that. You know how they do, the business people. But I couldn't stay at that job because it was too far away anyways. It's too so, bad. Okay, so I gotta stand on something. They'll come in here eventually. They are bloodthirsty. Yeah, these gorillas, they want you. They do. I might as well just go, go see them. I can always, I used to jump in the water to avoid them. Oh. Yeah, but then they just surround the pool and wait yeah. for you to get out. They are this way. Oh. <laughs> no. There we go. No. There better not be any behind me, too, because I will be so scared. It is insane how quickly they run. <laughs> Gorillas are fast. You let him out, too. Where are you? Where are you? They're in there. Oh, that's... I have so many different gorilla sound effects. Ooh, it's just a guy. It's like, oh, yeah. Ooh, hey. Oh. What? See, I did oh. just, just as good of a job. All right, there's another one, though. This is a nice area. This is. This is one of my favorite. This garden area? Because they even did, like, little sundials and stuff. That's cool. Yeah, all the little bushes. So cute. <laughs> Love it. And the little benches. Like, this is a nice little area. This really made me want, like, you know, a fancy house with a nice, like, garden area and stuff. With the sundial? Yeah, with the sundials. <laughs> That's why I like when you go up to Perry Sound. And there's that huge tower. There's just that one sundial there. Makes me think of Tomb Raider. Oh, yeah. So, uh, for those that don't know, Perry Sound is just like a middle Ontario town surrounded by camping area, like forests, Ontario forests and lakes. It's a very quaint, small town that... You know, it has train tracks and a bookstore. 
It's northern, but and not like, super northern. Yeah, not mega north, because Canada goes on and on and on north. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, this place. If you just recently saved, I would say do it, but don't. I did save? I thought we already got to this area. No. Oh, the, there's a save right there. Oh, yeah, there. save right there okay. and do it, just for kicks. People who've played this game know what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. This is probably the coolest part. <laughs> Alright. I like that if it's like you don't know the lore, then too bad for you. Yeah, or if you don't realize that that's a hand. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I like how she just falls right over. What the fuck? Uh. <laughs> what a crazy anime, crazy death animation. Yeah. And that little pained, pained little, sigh. What? <laughs> I like the gold effect. The gold effect looks really good. <laughs> I like it too. There should be like unlock a secret where you play There's as There's probably Laura. so many people that just like sh just shot all those gorillas and monkeys and everything and then finally get in here and just without thinking about it jump on the hand. Yeah. While they're going for the save the save. Yeah, because they put it right in your way. Yep. Because, like, oh, it's a cool hand. I'll jump on it. But they warn you. They're like... Midas! You idiot. <laughs> now where? There? Um, yeah, you know what? There's probably something else in here. Probably not just that. Or maybe it is just that. Hmm. No, it can't be just that, right? Just a save point? Uh, it's possible. I guess so. Save point in something cool. Yeah. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, then. Can't just clip right through that. <laughs> Get stuck. Cl when will clipping go away? Never. I hate clipping. I love it. Do you? Well, not when you get stuck and then you have to restart the game. That's not immersion, so you know? <laughs> not immersion. So I got into this area. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Right. Oh, they won't even let you... Nope. No crouching. No uh, hanging and shimmying. Well, nope. because you're being blocked by the... I know, but I thought maybe you could shimmy over to this side. Mm. And then get up there. I guess it doesn't matter, you can just jump. So it's just a save point in there, that's it? I guess so. They just wanted to show you something cool. <laughs> They're like, look what we did. Alright. Yeah, you like you really have to explore and look around for stuff. Got to be something. Well, there's these doors here. And look at the little fountain. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, I love this game. <laughs> Door there too. Okay, so we let the monkeys in or out. We let the monkeys out. I got a health pack. We found Midas. Yep. And that's about it, I guess. Until we open those gates. Huh. Uh, yeah. I don't know what to do. So. So there's something up there, isn't there? There is. Um. 
But I can't get up there. Yeah, those looks like those switches. Hmm. There's a door up there, an entryway. Okay. <clears throat> Keep that in mind. So it was in here. There were monkeys in here. There's also up there. Hmm. Oop. <laughs> And then when I was in here, it was just more monkeys. Maybe we should start streaming these. Wait, what's behind you? A door. What? There's a door behind you. That? Yeah. Yeah, I was in there. That's okay. where I got accosted by those gorillas. Right. And it was this place. And when I went in here, what was in here? Oh, bad memory. Yeah, I have bad memory, too. Terrible memory. I was just here. That, right, that switch. That opened that... Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> so, is there anything else around here? This is the part where we run in circles because we missed some pixel. <laughs> well, maybe I should go back to the first room that I was in. Maybe. Yeah. You can also get up there, too. I think you should oh, try no. those switches that you didn't try pulling. I think it may just be a case of... It's not random. You have to know which ones. You sure? Yes. All right. Well, okay, yeah, maybe I'll go pull. We'll see how... You could just check, and then, then we know for sure. All right. All right. Because if we run around for like the next <laughs> half an hour, and that is what we have to do. <laughs> okay, all right, fine. Let's go do that. Hup. <laughs> Every time. I don't know. I always do that. You think it makes it go faster? It does not. It absolutely does not make you go faster. Or maybe it does. They, yeah, games should probably avoid adding, like, because that's what happened with with Zelda. You just roll everywhere because it <laughs> looks like it makes Link move a little faster. Does it? I don't know if it does or not, but a lot of people will just roll across Hyrule Field. Hyrule Field. Hyrule Field. Oh, wait, I opened the shortcut. I don't need to do this. Yep. Dirk. See, the thing that I do kind of, I do agree that it's probably not just random, but I just want to make sure. Because well, it would it, probably maybe open some of the doors. Maybe. Or but maybe I, it doesn't tell you shit all and you just have to keep running back here and guessing. That'd be boring, but... It does, there is a certain way to do it. Okay. Okay. Now I have to do this. Just shimmy. Do the shimmy. Alright. I think you have, to, yeah, I think you're right. You have to have it in the right order before it makes a noise and tells you you're right. Yeah. How, where do you get the answer from? Do you remember? Um, yeah, there's something that you have to, like, look at, and it will tell you, but we, we haven't gotten to it yet. Okay. Will you know it when you see it? Yeah. All right. Hmm. Hmm. It's over there. On that ledge. Do you see something over there? I sort of see some pixel jaggage. Pixel jaggage. <laughs> Pixel jaggage. <laughs> well, the PlayStation is so jaggy. Mm-hmm. It's still really... Jaggies. Real, it's still really jaggy. Jaggies are, like, almost a thing of the past. Almost, but they're still there. Mm, I don't know. Like, Bloodborne? I, there's no jaggies. Oh, there's jaggies. You see the they're jaggies? They're there. Yeah, they're they? there. 
I didn't see any jaggies. Uh, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> No, they're there. In like anything that's like thin, a thin line, like fences and like um, mostly fences. Fences. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess they're not gonna three D every everything. But they don't have to. It's just straight lines. It has. Any sort of straight line just kind of flickers. There's that weird flickery thing. How oh. many gigabytes do you think uh, an hour of Bloodborne footage would be? Oh my god. Do you think the computer could even do it? <laughs> no, it would not. Oh, so if we were try to try to record it? Yeah. Oof. Because Outlast was ridiculous. Outlast was murdering the computer. <laughs> it was in pain. It was howling. The Outlast isn't even that. Like, it looks good and everything. But yeah. It's not like. It's not a new game anymore. Yeah. My computer's just not a very good computer anymore. It like, it was. It served you well. It was. It did serve it's me well. It's been good. Yeah. Can Definitely. I? Even. I think I hear bats. Do you? Or fire. I hear fire. Oh. <laughs> okay. Think it's on the other side of that wall. <laughs> Do you think you can make that jump? No, but let's try. Yes. Yeah. See, I thought I saw something over here. Nothing to further the plot. Oh. Just a health. Oh wait, there's of something. They're magnum clips. Oh. Oh, it's something. Yep. Oh, nope. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, so... It's nice to have more powerful stuff. Good. No progression, but still good. That's that's technically progression. I wonder why the audio keeps cutting out like that. Do you notice that? There's some other sound effect track that's playing. Perhaps. Can you pull that? No. It's a door. Uh, oh, look. Our friend the spikes. You can see the spikes. On the other side it. of the door. <laughs> Let's not go in there. And then there's another door over here. Mm -hmm. Oh. What about on the door? Do you think Omega might be? Oh! Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Oh, look at it. See? Like, what would Y, would y be up or would Y be down? Probably down. Oh, you're smart. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm right or not. You are right. That's absolutely it. What's Y and what's Omega? Is o I guess Omega would be up. But I feel like Y would be up too. Well, it doesn't matter. We can try both. Just try it. So you can just look at the door you want to open. Yeah. And now it's legit. Don't you think they'd give you a sound? You'd think they would, but no. Alright, we'll verify. But yeah, you know what? Maybe you're right. There would be a little, like, they'd make a little to do about it, except not. They, they didn't. didn't. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, at least now we know what's up and what's down. Well, Jesus! Come on! the lion population really i don't know who's winning the gorillas or the lions no nope, no one's winning no one's winning thanks to laura or lara lara uh, lara i don't know how does she pronounce it lara lara i don't know i can't get used to that lara i've never um, i've never never met a lara me neither i want is that like a popular name in other places I don't know. To me, Lara's don't Lara. exist. Should I save? I should save that. Yeah, save grab those really. shells and then save. No, should I save? Should I save save? Because I haven't really done anything. Yeah, save it. All right, sure. Cool. They seem pretty uh, generous with the save points here. 
true. Lara. They do. Well, you open that, you got some shells. Mm -hmm. And then there's this way to go. Yep. What's in here? More oh, shit. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, look at the wall. Three times. Three times brick. Okay. Three times brick. Brick. That's all <laughs> that, that all that looks like. Three times me. button? Three times three X brick. 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 I don't know. <laughs> oh you do. Yeah, you need uh you need like three gold bricks. bars. There's like little yeah, there there's oh, little brick things so you that you get. Must find little bricks and then you take them to Midas's hand. Right. Right? Right. That's what I'm thinking here. I think you're right. And oh, that's so cool. I didn't really You find the that. bricks and then you goldify the brick. Yeah. And then uh, that opens up this way. Well, okay. That's, that's just neato. <laughs> or we just made something up that's would, would I feel be like cool. that's probably what, what it is because why would you do that whole Midas thing for no reason. Yeah, exactly. And make it accessible like that. And yeah. Let's just go around this room and open up all these different doors and see what's in them. Do 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 do. Yeah, we're not even at the part that I gave up on. Do you think you're going to give up at the part that you gave up on again? No, because I'm... You know, I wouldn't even say that I have more patience now because I don't. But... I think I'm maybe a little bit smarter. You think, like, 20 years later you'd be better at video games? I would hope to God that I am. <laughs> I have more motor control, so that's good. I've actually noticed myself get better at video games over the course of time. Because I remember when Jack and Daxter first came out. Yeah. Uh, there was a part in Jack and Daxter that I couldn't get, I couldn't get through. And then I, like, didn't play it for a few years, and I just remember... I just remembered, like, that game, that Jack and Daxter game was really fun. It was, like, it felt good, and the animation was really fluid and all that. And so I, so I rented it again. And, or no, I bought it cheap. And I got to that part, and I did it in one try. And I was, like, dreading that part all the way up. What the hell is this? I don't know. Why? I don't know, but I think we're going to have to put some bricks or some something on those. Okay. And there's another save point there that you don't really need right now. Did you see it? I did see it. This guy. We need you. We need this? Yeah. For what? Uh, to put on those little plates. How? just clip them right through the spikes what yeah i would never think to do that it doesn't make any sense like, <laughs> yeah i know like spatially that doesn't make sense yeah i know there is something behind here though it's a switch maybe it gets rid of the spikes no nothing gets rid of the spikes <laughs> <laughs> nothing gets rid of the spikes no <laughs> <laughs> It was unnecessary to make that noise, but I just uh, thought it was I don't good. think you're right about this. Oh yeah, I think you're you're right that I'm wrong. I think you're right that I'm wrong. What happened out there? Something you did something and Oh something. hey. Oh it raised them. Oh, cool. And that's why they are there. Okay. That makes All sense. Alright. And if you fuck up, then you, then you land at the spikes. Yep. Fair. So it's a jumping puzzle. maybe you should save before you do it. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Also, like, the gold effect is cool, and then the save point effect is really neato. It's, like, reflective and purple, which is my main attractive. Is that what your D&D &D character's magic missiles look like? The save oh, points from Tomb Raider? That would be cool. <laughs> I like that. Oh, R.I.P., Laura. This is not going to go very well. Well, you save first, so it's okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, all right. I was playing D&D &D 
online last night, and my the DM kept going, I... Did you hear him doing it? I didn't hear him do it, no. No, he kept doing it. He did I, like, heard him, I heard him do it once, I think. He did it like 800 times, <laughs> and I was like, dude, my immersion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the incredible... No, I think the immersion is broken with the incredibly Canadian guy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the, the guy, there's this really Canadian guy that we play with, and his character, his name is Dwimmer Gloom, and uh, it's just like... <laughs> it's like Dwimmer Gloom uh, goes into his breast pocket there and he takes out a pack of darts doesn't save the puff or nothing <laughs> like that's just what you're expecting him to say but it's yeah. like it's supposed to be this elven ranger that he's playing most Canadian oh shit shit it's funny shit shit oh, shit shit oh fucked oh. up you got scared of that monkey I and did. fucked it all up oh. and I, I'm no different either cause that's that's what's great about D and D is like, I play some gruff, gruff dwarf, and I just use my normal speaking voice. <laughs> so. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Not everybody does that whole, uh, RP like does a voice for their character. It's really like the that one guy, and I really appreciate it. The one guy who does a voice. Yeah. Yeah, like I I like the voices, but it's just I feel like. The, if you do a voice in D&D, it's like, it could really rub people the wrong way. I think you, that's something you would have to agree on. Be like, okay, we're all going to do the voices. Well, no, you just do one if you want to do one. Like, if you want to do one, then do one. I think it should be, like, enforced. Enforced? I think it should be enforced. Like, not not for every D&D game. Like, I wouldn't want to do that for ours. But I would say, if you want to do RP and do the voices, I think you could all sit down and agree. That we're going to do the voices, whether you like it or not. You have to do it. <laughs> and then you're all in the same boat. As long as everyone agrees. Yeah. Because I think that could be really fun. Yeah, it definitely could. Like You can force fun to a point. When we when Evan was doing his voices, they were hilarious. Mm -hmm. His goblins were amazing. His goblins were on point. Yep. Don't, Don't you freak. fucker. No. <laughs> Laura, you, you need your need guns to, to fight. Use your words. Like you can just keep shooting them and more blood comes out. Yep. <laughs> Brick. Okay, great. We got one. Yay. Yeah, you're totally right. You do have to put them in the Midas hand. No, don't fall in the spikes. <laughs> <laughs> wow all right well you don't need to be up on these anymore do you no yeah. i like how when you like hit the ceiling she just bonks she would her break head. her neck she would smash her head you would have a Ugh. total concussion it's like bite her tongue and <laughs> Ugh, i hate that when you hit your head so hard you bite your own tongue i don't think i've ever hit my head that hard before that's pretty bad i have i'm six three so i have it a lot I did hit my head really bad once on a cabinet. Ah! Wow. Okay, side <laughs> jump and hope for the best. Uh, you can walk. You can walk through them? Through them. Oh, as long as you walk. You got lucky. <laughs> what the fuck? Right, because I, I can't go up. I have to leave through here. Right. There you go. Yeah, you have to walk. If you run, you'll just... What a dainty walk. It is very dainty. Alright, so we got brick number one. Let's get brick number two. Yeah, they must be all in here. Oh, you have to guess with that one. Okay. Well, but luckily you can see it from up there. Mm -hmm. So the two second last ones. Yeah, Omega is up, right? Yes. Yes. What would a what would the Y be? Uh, I don't know. Y Yada. <laughs> Yada. <laughs> I don't know. It's entirely possible. I don't know. They did not teach us Latin in school. Nope. It's funny that they taught Latin so far that they did in the school system. 
But then stop when they got to us. They just taught us all the bullshit that <laughs> went out of went out of style like right after we got out of school. I feel like after my generation got out of grade school, they're like, ooh, ooh, we fucked them up. We gotta change this shit. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh no! Did I do it opposite? This, no, this has to be up. What am right. I doing? I don't remember what it was. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, is it? No, it's not. I mean, what did they teach you that fucked you up? Um, it was just like, so, I guess they didn't change it after I was done school. They changed it before I was done school. So. I was like grade seven, and they changed the entire curricul curriculum. Oh, right, because of grade thirteen. They like, yeah, they cut grade thirteen out you of were high still school, in school, and I was still in grade school. So they everything got everything went up a grade. So they removed grade thirteen, and so everything was like a grade uh, har harder or whatever, yeah, more advanced than it was right in the middle for my group. And I was already shit at, <laughs> at math. So I just never got anything above a 55 for, for math. Uh, I think they just passed me because I showed up. and try Like, I showed up and I wrote the numbers down, but every question was wrong, pretty much. Um, I didn't really notice that much of a difference when they eliminated grade 13, because I think you I actually was did homework, too though. young. I think I. Yeah. Well, what grade was, were you in? You were like grade seven. No, um, you had to be. I was in grade than that. six. I think when they did it. Okay, so I would have been grade three. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember that. Um, nothing really <coughs> changed that much. Excuse me. I remember there was this weird test they had us take. Yeah, the EQAO bullshit. Bullshit, and they're still making kids do that. I thought they had taken it away. It is the most bullshit test. What what one are you talking about? The um, standardized testing. I'm talking about the one where they like ask you all these questions of would these would you rather questions about what about work? Something just shook a bunch. Yeah, don't worry about it. About work. About work. Oh, it was, that. It was questions like. Which... Oh, it wasn't a test. It was that stuff that they made you do um, to prepare you for careers yeah they wanted to to actually everything tells me that i should pick a job and i remember like a lot of them were like it's like true or false i would rather sell drugs than <laughs> oh right remember yeah i'd rather sell drugs than i don't X. think they ever said sell drugs it did um... it said i would rather it would be like i would rather sell illegal drugs than x <laughs> and i picked that one almost every single time <laughs> Because the cho I would actually rather sell illegal drugs than the things on that test. Mo for the most part. And then when my results came back, they were like, uh, so it looks like you'd be good for an outdoor job. <laughs> an outdoor <laughs> job? Yep. Selling drugs? Selling drugs? Are you telling me to sell drugs? <laughs> Speaking of selling drugs, do you smell that? No. You smell some dank nugs? Yeah. I don't. I never sold drugs. That's good for you. Even, even though the government kind of told me to. I'm sure your guidance counselor told you to. <laughs> because you went to... Because <laughs> I went to Stanford? Is that what you're going to say? Because I went to public school? Andre's a press, I'm by just the way. kidding. No, you're it's not. a joke. What a press. Andre's a it's a joke. Andre's oh, a prissy shit. Catholic school girl, and she thinks she's better than people who went to public school. I do not. I wish I went to public school. <laughs> well, yeah, it's definitely rooted in jealousy. It is a little bit. I wish I went to public <laughs> school. That would have been that would have made things a lot easier. Oh, uh, where do I go? Do I go over there? Yes. Yes. Aha. See, we're getting somewhere. I gotta get that second brick. 
We need three bricks. We need three bricks. There's got to be three another times brick. brick. Yeah, three x brick. Oh, is that a door? Yeah, it is. Mm. Okay, all right. Looks like one. 